Hi, everyone. A few years ago, I began my career in tech as a developer at a large corporation. Until the day I left, I was called the girl on the seventh floor, simply because there were no others. I feel strongly that no woman should be an oddity and no woman should be nameless in tech. But a decreasing percentage of women are joining the industry today. In the EU, we make up 17% of the tech workforce, which is actually a 5% decrease from a decade ago. In the US, 37% of computer scientists were women in 1995, and today, 24%. This lack of diversity means lack of diverse perspectives in the products and the solutions being built today. And some of these biases might just simply result in awkward loves. For example, the Hungarian edition of Forbes wrote an article about my company, Imagilabs. And when friends around the world subjected the article to Google Translate, many of them reached out to us. Dora, why do they refer to you as he in the article? The Hungarian language does not have gender-specific pronouns, so translating the article into languages that do, Google Translate had to make an educated guess based on the fact that I was stated as a tech CEO in the article. It guessed wrong. But these biases can also sometimes negatively impact women's access to wealth and opportunities. For example, the algorithm developed to establish credit limits for the Apple card had the effect of limiting women's access to capital. And the list goes on. VR headsets are being developed and not fitting women's heads, phones not fitting women's hands and pockets, and voice recognition often is not recognizing female voices. However, on the positive side, women can and will identify markets that would otherwise remain underserved and overlooked. This already happened with menstrual cycle tracking, initially missed by Apple and its comprehensive health monitoring system. Female entrepreneurs stepped in to meet this need. I decided that we need to change the face of tech for generations to come. And I saw a way to achieve this by growing younger generations, specifically young girls into tech, and by showing them that it is a space for them to be. I knew it was important to catch their interest young. Studies show that at age 12, girls and boys are equally interested in technology, but after that, a chasm opens up, and by 14, nearly half of boys are interested, and only 12% of girls. But I also needed a scalable idea. So with Imagilabs, we created tools and a community where coding is a means for self-expression and creativity, as well as connecting with others. Imagilabs products, both digital and physical, allow girls globally to become part of a like-minded community and explore what it's like to create with code. Our consumer app has so far allowed more than 25,000 users from 70 countries, approximately 80% of whom are girls and non-binary, to write their first lines of code. Educators have held coding workshops with our tools in more than 25 countries across Europe, but also in India, Brazil, and the United States, just to name a few. Our approach of teaching coding in relation to self-expression and creativity in a social setting is delivering positive results across the globe. And we aim to reach one million girls in the next five years. I envision living in a world where girls' full potential is unlocked so they can freely reimagine the future with technology. 
So if you know an educator looking for an introductory coding platform or have a young girl in your life, please introduce them to Imagilabs. You will be empowering them to drive positive and global change, shaping a gender equal future for us all. Thank you.